Okay, this is another iPhone SDK tutorial. Um, this is going to be the simplest one I've made so far, and probably the simplest one I will ever make. Um, here we're just going to be checking for an internet connection, and um, yeah, that's, that's what we're going to be doing. Just checking if an internet connection exists, or um, if some, you can actually reach a certain server on the internet. So let's do a file, new project. Um, it really doesn't matter what type of um, project you do this time, just because it's just going to be really simple. Let's just do. I'm going to do a view-based application, and um, we're going to do uh, name it uh, Internet Check or something like that. Okay. Okay. So under classes. Uh, if you look in the .h file, there's not anything you do right now. Um, so let's go ahead and implement. Let, let's if you look in the, your .in file of Internet Check View Controller .in, um, you'll see a method that's commented out called view did load. Let's go ahead and uncomment that because that's what we're going to use. This method is called automatically by the iPhone SDK whenever the view has been loaded. Um, so, well, basically what we're just going to do is use um, the iPhone SDK in a string class um, and request a string from a certain URL. Check if that string then exists, and then if it does not exist, we can out. Um, output something. In this case, I'm just going to use an alert view because um, alert views are really great for doing this kind of stuff. So we're going to define an inner string. Um, let's just call it uh, uh, connection string or something. You can, you can name it whatever you want and then we're going to allocate it. And we need to init with URL. I'm sorry, that's actually. Oh, sorry, content, in it with contents of URL, that's what we want. And then, as you can see, the, 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 U, the type we need to send to is an NS URL. So what we need to do is make some more brackets and just of type NS URL, and then um, do URL with string. And then the string is going to be whatever URL we, you want, but in this case, let's just go and use google.com. That's, that's good stable place to use just to check for, you know, if you can actually access the internet. Um, so, there we go. And then, all we gotta do now is do an if statement, and then, also, we need then we need to have an alert view if there is no internet connection. So let's say, if um, connection string length equals zero. So when you do the length um, function on the on an in a string, it if if the if the in the string is of type nil, meaning it just doesn't really exist, then it's gonna be a value zero. And then also if the string just is literally value zero of of zero length, then it's going to be zero as well. So let's just use connection string length equals zero. Or you could do if connection string does not equal nil, I guess you could. Uh, I'm not sure actually, but this is what we're going to do for now. And then, so if it equals zero, this is where actually where we're going to define the alert view. So it's just UI alert view, alert view, UI alert view, allocate. And then we need to init with title and, and all that, that long stuff. Init with title. Um, let's just call it error. That's the title message. Um, you do not appear to be connected to the internet. Um, delegate self. Cancel button title, which is going to make it OK. And make sure all your strings have the string little, literal with the at sign. Um, 
And then other button titles we don't really need any, so we're just going to say nil. And then you end the bracket, of course, and then the semicolon. And then with any alert view, you need to make sure to do alert view, show, and then um, remember to release that because we don't want to need it. And then we're going to do, I get no, we don't need nil, sorry. And then finally, we can release our connection string. Just to, so we don't have uh, any leaks. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my internet connection for now. And see what we get. So I'm running it, by the way. Make sure to save. Opening up simulator. And there you go. You do not appear to be connected to the internet. So now I'm going to try turning my internet back on. Or turning my wireless uh, airport, whatever they call it, on. Okay, so it's on. So now let's retry this. Let's see, internet check. And there's no alert view. So that's exactly what we want. Um, so yeah, that's all for now. Uh, we we're just using Google.com because it's a nice, reliable source to use or to check. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and more tutorials will be coming along. So.